Hello everybody and welcome back to Paul's Model Works and uh, I have finally completed the uh, Ford Anglia, it's the 51 and so I wanted to share with you guys what it looked like and how everything turned out. Um, as you guys can see uh, it looks pretty good once it's all put together and the stance is really nice. I'm really happy with this one. There's a few fit issues, but they weren't really that bad, so um, I'll show you guys what those were here in a few minutes uh, once I show you guys the rest of the car. But um, I'm pretty happy in all in all how it turned out, and uh, I think it's going to be a nice addition to my collection. So to get started here, I'm just going to give you guys a little tour around the car. Uh, that is the driver's side. Then we have the front of the car passenger side and of course the back. Um, let's go ahead and start here with the front of the car and as you guys can see there on the front um, I did the grill just a little bit different uh, inside of here there was a couple of chrome pieces that came down um, I just didn't really like it that much and I was going for more of you know the custom look so I took a little bit of mesh and stuck inside of the grill there, and I thought it looked really good. Um, it's got that tilt opening hood, and I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this, but the motor is right inside of there. Came out real good. Uh, there will be pictures at the end of this that will show you guys that a little bit better. But it's that pink. Uh, accent color that the motor is painted in. Um, driver's side here is right there and it's got that uh, custom steering wheel in there instead of the drag steering wheel that the kit came with. There's the seats and the roll cage. Gauges are all painted in on the dash and everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, in the back here, the little trunk opens up. And if you guys can see down inside of there, um, there is a little Optima battery that's wired and then the little uh, you know fuel cell back there. Uh, also on the back here is uh, the... Um, wheelie bars and then there's this kind of cool it's called a nerf bar but it's just this cool little deal kind of reminds me of one of those little wind-up toy things so it's pretty cool um on the passenger side here this was one thing that i had a little issue with was this passenger's door it doesn't want to stay on as well as the driver's side door so you just have to be real careful with it but uh, other than that the kit is really really nice and i really like it um, show you the bottom real quick. It's got uh, two custom exhaust pipes there um, that I did. It's made out of soldering wire and some aluminum tubing. And then there's more of that pink accent color on the rear end. Um, and then you can see those wheelie bars, how they're hooked up. So all in all, it's a pretty cool little kit for an old kit. It goes together pretty nice. And uh, I'm really happy with it. I uh, just wanted to share it with you guys real quick. And uh, the pictures will be coming up, like I said, at the end of this. And now I am working on my uh, contest entry for Fast Jimmy's uh, CGG model contest. So my next video will probably be about that one. So until next time, guys, I'll see you then. And enjoy the pictures of the 51 Ford Anglia.